Hello, AP Psychology students. Um, wow, can you believe that we are starting distance learning on Monday, March 30th because of a pandemic? This is not something I ever imagined would happen in my lifetime, and I'm sure something that was not ever in your imagination. And I know for some of you who are seniors, this is a really uh, difficult time to be away from school. I never really imagined how miss, much I would miss at room S287. Um, I'd like to just go over with you a few things that you might be curious about as we move into our distance learning. First of all, each day, I will be posting uh, something in the e-learning folder. Now we've been told by administration that this is um, something that we need to do every day and we need to have a, an approximate 30 minute lesson. Some days it will just be watching a screencast and taking some notes. Some days you might need to read an article and write a response. Um, you will also see on the calendar over here, I have, um, for the first day is just going to be a check-in. I just want you to, um, whatever your hour is, you'll only see your hour on your Schoology, but I want you to check in through Google Meets and I have included a link on the tab there. And I just want to see all of your faces again. I miss you all so much and I miss the fun that we had in having class um, together. And, you know, we, I, was, I felt like it was just, I was just having such a great time with you guys. Um, so I want to see you all and I want to check in. I'd like to remind you right now that you have the learning application and assessment assignment. And I made that due on Tuesday. Um, but you will have an assignment on Tuesday to take notes on the first part of the um, memory unit. So this is your place to go to. Schoology is where everything's going to come to, uh, all of your um, assignments. And we actually take attendance then by seeing that you've produced the product, whether it's a picture of your notes or um, a, an assignment or something like that. Um, the learning application and assessment is something that um, is revised from the yellow packet you had for this assignment. And I did send out a message previously about that, and I hope you got that, but you can find the assignment under the folder for um, learning. Now, I will continue to open up folders as we continue through um, the uh, the units here. Um, so, here's the next thing you might be interested in knowing about. Um, the College Board has decided that we are going to be tested only through Unit 7. So this means that the next unit that we will be on after memory, cognition, and language is uh, motivation, emotion, and personality. Um, and then the final unit is development. Now, this does take out units eight and nine, which are some of the units people enjoy the most, which includes clinical psychology, the psychological disorders, and um, treatment options, and then also it does not include the social psych unit. Uh, what's good about what the College Board is doing is that we don't have to try to cram in everything before uh, the assessment date, and we still have a good three to four weeks after that to cover psychological disorders and social psych, which I think you'll find really interesting and, and I really think are important topics to talk about in this class. Um, so as far as the AP exam goes, for those of you who are signed up for that, uh, the College Board has said that they have revised the exam. They're working on the revision right now, and they're going to send us out more information on April 3rd. So I will send you information on that as soon as I get it. What they did say is that it will not be a multiple choice exam, that it is something that you can do at home, and it will be involve a written response of some kind. My best guess is that it will be a standard FRQ, but that it will take uh, concepts from each of the unit and somehow put that into the FRQ. So we will review how to do that. Excuse me, I'm going to seize. <laughs> um, I'm not sick. Allergies. Okay. In the meantime, uh, just a reminder, the most important thing to know is that um, all of your uh, all of your assignments you'll find over here or in the e-learning tab. I also will be posting a link for um, office hours each day from 8 to 9 and from 3 to 4 p.m. and those will take place on Google Hangouts. Um, 
Uh, let's see. I felt like there was something else. Well, um, here's here's my office. Um, I have a, a nice view from my window. I also have a keyboard, so perhaps I will um, serenade you or play a song for you at some point. I don't know. Um, what you can expect each week is that it'll be a combination of just assignments that you do on your own. And sometimes we will have check-ins, probably at least once a week we'll have check-ins uh, through a Google Meet or Google Hangout. Um, please do email me or contact me if you have any questions, or even if you would like to set up a private Google Meet, I can arrange for that as well. Um, we'll get through this together. I hope you're all staying healthy. I hope you're um, enjoying the people that you are sheltered at home with. I We actually have five people in my home, including my mom, who we have brought here uh, while she is unable to go to see my dad. Um, I hope that you will think of those who may be in nursing homes or other facilities where they can't see their loved ones and the hardship that that, that is for both the, the person who um, can't see their loved one and for the one who is um, in the facility. I want to show you a picture of my mom and dad because I've talked about them so much. They're super duper cute. That's my mom. She's staying with us during this time and my dad is in memory care and so it's been really hard for my mom not to see my dad and I'm sure all of you know someone in that situation. So meanwhile, like I said, be well. Um, check in on Monday. Uh, follow the link that is on the calendar and um, we'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.